I'm fine, Julie. I'm getting better. So I'm waiting for that dance. Absolutely, William. Did you kiss Marshmallow last night? Yesterday. It's your birthday. Did, did you see all those? I thanked uh, Bill Musk for me and Richard for that picture. That was wonderful. Absolutely. I, I put it on my page tagging you and Richard also. And, yep. uh, and I realized that this morning that I only put it for private, only for me to see it. And so I changed it last night, but I want to say happy birthday to you, William. And I don't know Richard joining us. I hope you had a good time. Oh, that yesterday. was a really good presentation yesterday. That's awesome. Well, you remember, I told you I want the first dance. So I hope you're working hard for it. <laughs> I, I'm exercising. I'm waiting to make some money from... Uh, on passive so I can get more exercise and get rid of, the, rid of that wheelchair and <clears throat> walker so I can dance at church every Sunday. Absolutely. And I'd like you to see yourself walking. I like you to see, I like you to see yourself getting up. I like you to imagine that image inside of, in, in your well, mind. That's progressing. Uh, I'll send you some pictures of my exercise uh, machine. Uh, I'll show you the the lines. I'm getting better with my walking so and balance. Perfect, perfect. I love that. All right, William. Happy birthday! You're seventy years old. Oh, that's wow. uh, well. That makes me younger with on passive, eh? For sure, for sure, absolutely. <laughs> All go. right, back to you, Milo. I'm going to turn my mic off. All right, we get ready to start. We'll start the show right now. So here we go, guys. Welcome to the show. Julie and Milo show is here today. I don't want to miss a single word they say. Bringing you founder from a near and far. Listen as they tell you now just who they are. Listen to the stories and the holiday tales. In just three minutes, how they're doing well. Telling us what about the day. And how they're loving that old blast away on passive. Yes, they're here today on passive. There's just no better way. Listen to the Julie and the Milo show. So then you can be the very first we know. On passive, it's a here today. Julia Milo show is coming your way Saturday on passive. Oh yeah, Julie, 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 Julie. Take it away, Julie. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Julie and Milo show. Today is November 6th, I think. Yes, November 6th. 2021. Thank you everyone for jumping on here to support the Julian Milo show and also enjoy the show with us. Before I go any further, um, could you make Chris Johnson and Lynn, all our friends, uh, be co-hosts so they can help you moving uh, some more panelists um, uh, onto the panel? Neither one of them. Phone. Yes. Uh, I think they're on their way. So if they, if, if anyone like to be on the panel, please raise your hands. Today we are going to do um, a show for only two hours. From now on, we're going to cut it down from 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. And then on Wednesday, from now on, we might go for longer um, then because we don't have Chris Johnson's show after that. So we're making some changes in the Julian Milo show, and we do hope that you would adjust and also that you would um, still be around and support us as well. But like I said, if you uh, could please raise your hands if you like to be on the show. I'm driving my whole family to visit my daughter in college and I just wanna pop my head in and say hello and welcome everyone to the show. The mic is back to you, Milo. All right, thank you, Julie, thank you, Julie. Yeah, uh, Chris and Lynn's not here yet, but as soon as they come on, I'll make them co-hosts or whatever, but... Uh... Uh, just good to have you guys here today, and man, we're just going to talk about uh, whatever, whatever you guys want to talk about. I know there's a lot going on right now, so 
I'm looking for hands to be raised. And so uh, you can start talking and and uh, we, we're just going to have fun today. So uh, let's see. So if you want to if you want to talk, uh, you'll be promoted first to the panelists because that's what the hand raise means. And then when you raise your hand on the panelists, we'll bring you forward to talk. So uh, welcome to the show, everyone. Let's see. OK, I got uh, David. I'm not sure if you want to talk or you just want on the panelists, but I'll bring you to the panelists now. And uh, X ha ha. I'll bring you to the panelists also. So there we go. And let's see, we've got some, no, we don't have no hands raised yet. We're looking, we're looking for some hands to be raised. Okay, there we go. We got William, come on down, William. Talk to us, brother. Hello, my Milo, Julie, everybody. I just like to thank everybody that was there yesterday. Me and me and Richard had a wonderful time. I'm not sure who that is uh, talking, but uh, it's Julie. Know. It's Julie. Julie, can, yeah, you, you know. can you mute yourself? All right, go ahead, William. Okay, I just want to thank everybody. Me and Richard had a wonderful time yesterday at the Friday Night Live. Awesome. I, I seen the, the picture of the marshmallows. That was great. And and if you can see the recording, it was a wonderful uh, webinar with uh, there was two IT specialists there and uh, some really good nuggets uh, for you to uh, take in. Awesome. Because we have, uh, they were talking about the O-Connect and I believe it was O-Net too. Great. Those are two good products. It's uh, going to put us on the map, that's for sure. You know, the old. O net O network is going to be uh, come out first, I think, and that's the light version of Facebook. So uh, exciting times for that. Yeah, there was a good uh, good uh, two IT specialists there that were talking about how it's going to revolutionize all the internet with the for companies personal use, so on. <laughs> absolutely it's going to be a big thing and oh connect too that's like a zoom you know but with unlimited people so uh that's going to make a difference in a, a lot of people i mean when you when you start thinking about you know churches and uh musicians and singers uh, you know they yeah. cast to the world for 24 hours a day you know have yeah their... they were they were talking about uh like for instance, uh, you do singing and stuff. Uh, they can translate the singing from one. So that'll be awesome, too. Absolutely. That's going to make a big difference in any videos, too. Will be, uh, I believe it's going to be uh, translated with, with uh, the words underneath what you're saying. So it's a yeah. big deal. That's yeah, they were talking deal. about the... Uh, artificial intelligence how uh, the network will be better and the picture quality will be better oh absolutely when you think about it because you're connecting to you know 10 or 12 different points around the world so it's going to be a hundred times faster so uh there's no doubt you'll never have the thing huh? of, of the movie uh, the video spinning out <coughs> So, uh, so uh, we're going to be the hunted for sure, Milo. Yes, sir, we are. That is for sure. All right. Thank you, William. That was that was great. Uh, all right. And next up, we have uh, Lystra. Lystra, come on down and talk to us. Hi there, everybody. Happy Saturday. Um, 
All I wanted to say is that everything that's happening is so amazing. I listened to, yeah, those two guys blew me away with all the things they had to say. You know, we will also take 100%. This is what they believe, 100% of the market on passive will take it. You know, and, and the high, the, the definition in... O um, Connect and the integration of O Connect with O Academy and what will take place. It's just incredible. It's mind blowing. I was great. But anyway, um, what I really wanted to say is that everybody listening, these are exciting times. Incredible times. I am just blown away half the time. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I'm not sleeping properly. It's all just there <laughs> piling up on me, right? But um, I know the best is yet to come. Hold on to your hats, people. The best is yet to come. Yet to come. And we're here and we are excited and we are, oh, I can't put half of it into words, Milo. It's, you know, it's just mind blowing. When I think about all the products and what we will be able to do with them and what other people will be able to do with them, it's incredible, incredible. So hang on and hang in there, people. It's coming. Thank you. Absolutely, it is. And uh, Chris, I'll make you a post here in a second. Uh, it is, and it's a wonderful thing. And for think about this, all of this for $97. That is so crazy. It is so crazy, you know, $97. Chris, if you can uh, bring the people on, I would appreciate it. Uh, thanks for being the co-host, brother. All right. Uh, Lystra, I'm the same way, man. To get, a, get an hour, to get sleep at night, it's two hours and I'm up and it's like... Uh, I last night I was laying there. I'm like, there's no need in laying here. You know, I might as well get up and do something. So I did. I got up and, and did a little work, you know, and it's crazy, but it's good stuff. All right. Hey, thank you for your insight. All right. How about, uh, let's see, who do we have next? Victor, Victor, come on up. Victor, you want to turn on your, unmute yourself and turn your camera on, please. Okay, I, I will be. Hello to everyone. Hey, Victor, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. Uh, I'm doing well. Thank you so much for the invitation. So um, I'm, how to say, uh, new participants on this system, on this company. And I believe so we will reach our point soon. Because uh, as far as I understood, all the people are waiting for results and, and uh, waiting to earn some money. That's normal, I think. Absolutely. Where are you from, Victor? Uh, I am uh, from Ukraine, so sorry for my English. My English is not the first one from, <laughs> from education, so Sounds I apologize if uh, I talk in something diff different than you. No, I just noticed the accent, but you sound good, man. Welcome to Home Passive, brother. Welcome to the family. Thanks and, a lot, brother. <laughs> hey, thanks for, thanks for jumping in there and talking today. Hey, have a good one, and we'll see you a little bit later. All right. Okay, okay. See you later. Bye. Cynthia, bye -bye. Come, on. come on down, girl, from Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Hello, everyone. Hey, I hey. just wanted to say... I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm Cynthia Brown from Philadelphia. I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm just, I'm just amazed. Um, when I think about the volume of this or where we are and in, in of this company, and and our, how our families are going to be covered, and it just, it it, it just amazes me. You know, we've we've struggled for so long in in this. This is something that we have been waiting for for, for forever. And this is, there is not nothing uh, better than on passing. There's not a company out here that's, that, that does what on, um, 
Ash Mufara is doing. And I just want to say that I'm I'm a, I'm proud to be a part of this. You know, and and also I want to say Bill Musk, I I love your videos. I love what you're doing. And Milo, that video that you just did uh with Tim and and uh his, uh his brother Todd, I love it. I love it. Uh on passive is here to stay. And yes, it is. It's here to stay. <laughs> That's uh, all I had to say. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you. Thank you. Great to have you on the show today. And thanks for uh, talking. And, and we're in it to win it. Still in it thank to win it. Still yes. in it to win it. You know, uh, I just can't wait for it to happen. So let me introduce to you right now my co-host for today. Uh, he's not near as good looking as my other one. Uh, but it's none other than Big Head Johnson. Come on, Chris. Talk to us, brother. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's happening, Milo? I'm sorry. Hey. I'm, right here. I'm, I'm shuffling things around right now at the kitchen table. But I, I can see and feel the excitement uh, of all you. Uh, I think this is going to be a really big week for all of us. We'll see. Um, keep smiling. Stay positive. Keep the faith. And for whatever you do, do not stop sharing. Keep sharing, sharing, sharing. Uh, get in contact with as many people as you can, uh, especially those people that you know might be um, might be hurting. You know, if you got those extra funds, I always say, help them out. Uh, that little bit of help is going to go a long way with them, with you, and uh, it's truly going to change the world. So glad to be a co-host, fill in Julie, little peacock for Julie Wen. I know she's on here driving to see your daughter. So Milo, I'm taking it back to you, buddy. Uh, all right. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for uh, helping out today. You're always ready to jump in and help out. You're a great guy, man. Uh, so yeah, it's so cool. I mean, I look at, I look at the board and I see a lot of you that I've seen around for a long time. And I know we're all excited about what's happening. And uh, right now this week, it seems like it's been the calm before the storm. Doesn't seem like maybe a, a whole lot's happening, but believe me, behind the scenes, there is a whole lot happening. And, and it's just so good to be here with all of you. You know, and I thought is I think Bill Musk actually put this post out, but it was a it was a post that said, What if? There's no hands raised up, so I'm gonna do a little talking right here. What if? What if in 1954? Now a lot of you wasn't around, but probably uh Pat Parent was around. Pat, what if a guy named Ray Kroc would have come to you and said, hey, I'm going to start this little hamburger joint up. Would you like to join? You know, what would have you said? Anything for cooking. <laughs> now, especially, you know <laughs> what happened, food, right? Man. Now that you know that it's at McDonald's, we all would have went back, went into that, you know? And, and when we look back and we see some of these things, you think of uh, 1954, also a guy named Sam Walton started a little bitty store. And uh, he asked some people to get in. Some people got in, some didn't. Uh, in 1976, a guy named Steve Jobs, he started a, a little company called Apple. You know, people didn't think it was going to work. They met in the garage, I believe. And uh, look what it is today. If you would have joined that, if you would have put, a, you know, $100 in back then, you know, you would be... <laughs> no telling where you'd be. I could. I can't even imagine. Jeff Bezos, Amazon. He started a thing selling books online. That was when the the web first come out. Who would? I remember people saying, "How in the world is that ever going to work?" You know, you've got all these bookstores around. He said, "There's no way he would ever be able to be competitive." Well, guess what? He wasn't only competitive, but he took over the market. He took over the market. He dominates the market. How about? Mark Zuckerberg, back in 2004, he come out with this thing called Facebook. He said, we're going to have this thing where you can talk to people on it. You know, some people, there was only a few people that, that got in at that time. Uh, in fact, I remember in 2008 when uh, I heard about it, you know, I didn't hear about it until 2008. And I said, that's all I need is one more thing to bother me. You know, at the time I was going through some stuff with my wife. And I remember my daughter said, Dad, you should get on Facebook. I said, Marlo, what the heck are you thinking? I don't need nothing else. I have my space. I don't need nothing else, you know? And, uh, well, today, you know, it's it's something that almost everybody's on to, you know? So, uh, but uh, now go forward till today, 2021. 
And if you were offered, which all of you have been, I'm assuming everyone on here is is probably a founder. If not, you you should be, you know, because uh, this is bigger than every one of those. I think this is going to be much bigger than every one of them, maybe all of them combined. You know, it's crazy where Own Passive is going. Own Passive is going to change the world, you know, and yeah, there Bill Musk has got it up. Uh, oh, he took it down, but he had it up for a second. Uh, what if, you know, what if, there it is. Uh, I love that post, Bill Musk. But, uh, you know, when you think about it, what if? And what if, what if I hadn't have been told about Own Passive? You know, I think, I think back about it, and I, I think, you know, September 1st, 2018, when I was told about it originally, I said, no, I'm not interested. But 15 minutes later, after arguing with the guy on my shoulder, saying, you know, it's 97 bucks, dude. And you spend more than that to, at, at a restaurant, you know, buying something to eat. Are you serious? And I said, well, it won't work. And he said, well, what if it does? And I said, well, it won't. I said, what if it does? And pretty soon, by the time I got home, I called Candace back up. Candace Keller is my sponsor. I thank her every day for introducing me to this. You know, she signed up two days after she signed up two days after Ken Russo. Ken Russo signed her up. So I'm in a pretty good place. Uh, and so I signed up under under Candace. I called her back. I said, send me the link. I'm going to sign up, you know. And I thought, what do I have to lose? And what the best decision I ever made in my life. I didn't understand it all then. I didn't. You know, I couldn't understand it. I couldn't fathom how all this could possibly work. And then now as I get to know more and more, it's incredible what's happening, you know? So uh, what do you guys think about it? Let me see. Uh, how about Charles Nickerson? Nicholson? Come on down, Charles. I know you got something to say. <laughs> hey, Milo. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you? Man, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. And, you know, uh, when I got involved with this company, um, there was only like 33,000 people in the business. And I'm going to tell you, I was, I was not... You know, I've been in business for a long time and I just I just didn't feel it at first. I didn't it just didn't seem possible. But, you know, I'm, I'm a spiritual person and I know that God says the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. And I know if we if we are sensitive to his to his calling, we will be uh, we will be aware of things that are going on in the world. I want to talk to you just real quick about something that's going on that maybe a lot of people don't even know about. Maybe you've been watching. Uh, there's, a, there's a thing going on called the Great Resignation. You know, if, if you guys have been watching that, over 20 million Americans have resigned from their jobs in the last six months. 20 million. And, I, and they expect over 40% of the whole workforce in the entire world to resign over the next few months because of all the stuff that's going on. People got comfortable staying at home uh, when COVID-19 hit and they got comfortable spending time with their families and stuff. I believe that the timing of unpassive was right on time. And for the ones that are closed-minded, they're going to miss the opportunity that God has put before us. You know, we talk also about uh, the, uh, it's been in the news a lot about universal pay. Um, you know, one of our presidential uh, uh, individuals that were running president, um, Andrew Yang, talked about universal pay and that because of the way the world's going, people will not be able to survive. And I think on passive gives us the opportunity to be a part of something so big that can that can that can fund us through these very, very tough times. And um, I, I'm just really excited about what on passive can do. And what it's what the plans are. Uh, I think the timing is just perfect, and I just think that we need to know there are people out there right now that have lost that have lost their jobs that are looking for opportunities. And for ninety seven dollars, this is a no brainer. I mean, this is the time for us to really go out there and let people know that this is this is an opportunity for them to be a part of. So you know, I'm excited about things. I, I'm just you know, there's some other things I've done. I've been very, very involved with the crypto world and uh, invested in that and done really, really well in that. And it's just a matter of us being open-minded to all these different different alternatives on uh, ways to generate uh, income. And uh, I think on passive is going to really set a pace for the entire world. I really uh, believe it. 
Absolutely. Thank you, Charles. I am with you on all of that. You know, I, I, I always say on our show, I say, when we first come on, it's all about, you know, maybe us, the residual income, what's it going to do for us? At, and then all of a sudden, it becomes so much bigger. It becomes so big that it's, it's like, okay, I don't have to worry about me because I know if I'm in. And I, let me tell you this. If you're on this panel right now, and I don't care if you got one person, you have nothing to worry about the rest of your life because you will not be able to spend all of your apples. You're going to have extra apples. How are you going to bless other people? That is what the beauty of this is. Thank you, Charles, for your uh, your thoughts. I love it. Uh, and it is all about timing. And it is a great time. It's a great time to be presented with this opportunity. Miss Patricia Parent, come on down and talk to us. Hi, Milo. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, I had sent Julie a message yesterday telling her I wasn't feeling well. Right. All day yesterday, I laid in bed and suffered with oxygen problems and all the time going through all the YouTubes. And I went through one of Mr. Ash's again and several and even Red and Jane's last night. And something came over me and the Lord was saying, get up, get your makeup on, be presentable and look forward to the next show because it's coming. And I believe that full hearted that on passive is going to take us all to the next level. I'm not one with big words, but I know blessings are coming and I'm going to be able to help many, many in the time coming. Thanks, Milo. Absolutely. I'm glad to see that you're feeling better, uh, Patricia. Uh, that's awesome. I know you were struggling a little bit there. Uh, that was great. And I feel the same way. You know, I love Ash's quote where Ash says, I might not be able to change the world, but I can change somebody's world. And that's all we have to do is change somebody's world. And it can just be one. But do you realize if we change one person's world, now we have 2 million people that are changed. Okay, now you say then, okay, maybe the next month you do another person. But everyone does one. That's 4 million. You see how this thing grows? And that's the beauty of, uh, of on passive, you know, is it grows. And, and you know, I, I did the quote to, hey, on passive is changing the world one person at a time. It started with Ash Mavaro but it continues to us. And now I remember, uh, I think it was the last uh, show that Ash was on or something, maybe two shows ago, where he says, hey, do you want to join my team? And he was talking about he was going to give away $1 million and he was going to keep $1,000 a day. $1 million a day he's given away and $1,000 a day he's, uh, he's going to keep for himself. I don't know about you, but I would love to join that team. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait till the day. And I think all of us will be able to someday, you know, give away a million dollars a day and keep a thousand for ourselves, you know? And it's, that's the beauty of on passive. I think is, is the fact that, that we do, we will be able to bless other people, you know, as we go. So, all right. Anyone else got something to say? How about you, Jay Wu? Oh, look, she just raised her hand and I just called on her. All right, go ahead, Jay Wu. Milo, how are you today? Good, how are you, Jay Wu? I am doing well and I'm so happy to be here with my fellow founders. And, you know, I was thinking as you were speaking, um, this, this on passive that has manifested itself. Remember, I've only been here six months. I feel like I've been here the whole two and a half years, but it's only been six months. It has really changed me. I haven't gotten a dime. <laughs> and there's just something magical going on here, <laughs> you know? And um, he has changed my life from the standpoint that I, am, I have become empowered and I'm making changes in other people's lives already. 
and I haven't gotten a dime. That to me, that's just a miracle all by itself. And so it's, it's, it's very, when I hear like what Patricia said, what Lystra said, it's like, yeah, 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 I'm all those things. I can relate to my founder's experiences. I can relate to um, the, the, our two founders who spoke on a technical level yesterday. I can relate to um, being overwhelmed by the vision and, and the power it's gonna have, not for me personally, but for everyone that we touch and everyone that on passive touches. So it's just great to be a part of this. And I just, I just love it all. I can't wait to see just how much I'm going to be able to do in the future, because I can't even imagine everything yet. But everyone else has such great ideas. It's like, yeah, I can think of something. I can, how, how, how am I going to give away a million dollars a day? That's a thought. Let me just ponder on that one this week. Anyway, great to be on the show, Milo. Thank you, Jay Wu. Thank you. And I think it's changed all of us. And, and really, when you do think about it, how am I going to give away a million? Well, I don't know. We can, I know that we can change the homeless world. We can feed everybody. You know, we can, we can set up, uh, I was talking with someone. I love talking to people about what they're going to do because it gets me all excited, gets me fired up. I was talking. Oh, who the heck was I talking to? Leon, I think, was was I was talking to. And we were talking about his plan is to like uh, build uh, complexes for homeless people, but have it so that that ecosystem does it all. He got gardens planned and all that. And do you realize all he has to do, and, and a lot of people, this goes by them, but all you have to do is give them $250 or two to $300 to get them started. Once that gets started, you know, and you, you maybe put uh, 200, you don't even have to charge them rent if you got a spot in it for them, because that will pay their rent, you know, and they don't have any worries whatsoever, you know, about it. And it's just, it, man, it's such a wonderful thing. You know, I just, uh, I love it. But uh, so, but I'm, I'm excited just like you are, you know, I, I, I keep trying to come up with things, man, and there's things that we can do and we, we will find out, you know, and the thing that I say, hey, regardless, whatever you're doing, you know, if you do a, if you want to give a, a money to say a hospital or something like that to, you know, that children's hospital, you know, don't give them money, give them a spot and keep buying them a spot every month or two, three, four, five spots every month. Guess what? It builds that where that they're making money. But not only that, it's building years where that you're getting closer to you'll be able to give away that million dollars a lot quicker. So, and you know what, Milo, it's just yeah. amazing how um, that um, the idea that you brought out, how it increases your trust in, in humanity. Like we, you know, Ash says he's raising humanity, but when you see what the ninety-seven dollars has done to raise humanity in our own community. So imagine what 300, you know, at one point I used to think, well, you know, if I gave somebody that whole position, you know, what's he gonna do with all that money and other, but you know, I've seen now, this is the proving ground. You know, 97, $100 can change a person. And it'll get to the point where once their needs are satisfied, they have to act, Absolutely. they have to act. Absolutely. That's the beauty of it. When you give a spot, don't worry about it. I mean, if they do, they want to do something bad with it or whatever they do, you know what? You just help them out. That's all you did. And you provided someone with a better life. And hopefully, you know, now is all of them going to make that a better life? No, some people will make bad choices. That's not on you. You did your part. You gave it out. But here's the cool thing. When you gave it out, regardless, if they don't do anything at all, it's still helping you fund that whole thing again. So it's a beautiful thing. And I see a hand raised that I was just fixing to call on. My good friend from LA, Miss Sherry Dursaway. Come on down, Sherry, and talk to us, girl. Hello, Milo. Hello, Julie. Hello, leaders. I love you guys all to pieces. I'm coming on here to share. I always love when Ash said, I can change one 
I can't change the world, but I can change one person's world. And I just think of like how many people's lives keeps already changed. And then how many more people's lives are going to be changed. So just that one saying, and one man created this, <laughs> he and his tech team and his wife, his wife has a lot to do with this. Don't she definitely does. So, um, I don't know about you, but I just love that saying. I can't change somebody's world, but I can change. No, no way. I can't change the world, but I can change somebody's world. I love that. So Julie and I, a few of us founders went to lunch yesterday and I'm like, we're all talking and I'm like, Julie, I could leave a $500 tip to this lady that was our waitress. That's going to be so awesome. <laughs> just to see the look on her face is just going to be phenomenal. And we always go to uh, Pete's which is just up the a little ways in that same shopping center. So I already have like people's names and wrote down that I'm going to give and bless them a certain way for just being nice and helping me. I mean, even though they're doing their job, I know, you know, doing your job can really be monotonous and you get rowdy customers and, <laughs> and it's a different world nowadays. And there seems to be more rowdy customers than per usual. And uh, this is just going to be, it's just going to be so phenomenal. So um, I can't wait to see the books that are going to be written about this. Um, founders who are going to write books. Like I'm going to, I'm not a book writer, but I am going to start writing down things on my adventure here. And also Milo, I have to tell you, I want to thank you for gifting <laughs> Julie this gift, because if it wasn't for that, I would have never met Julie. I would have never met you and so on and so forth. So that I can't wait to meet you in person um, as well. So don't think that you're getting away without me hugging you and, and thanking you in person because it will happen. And I thank you so much for getting Julie this. She needs this blessing for sure. I can't wait, Sherry. But here is the beautiful thing about this. This is what we all need to understand. I gave it to Julie. But guess what? Julie's given back to me. Oh, my God. She has 400 and some people on her team, right? Wow. You, you understand what I'm saying? So the blessings yeah. go out, but the blessings come back just the same. You know, and and, and I think about, the, you know, uh, you were talking about Acts. That's, I love that quote. I love it. You know, I might not be able to change the world, but I can change somebody's world. Now, do you realize with $1 million that he's going to give away a day, if Spots are if if a spot a position costs three hundred bucks. Let's just say three hundred bucks. Do you realize he's giving back to three thousand thirty three people a day? He's giving them a spot. Now, what does that do? That that's planting three thousand three hundred and thirty three new apple trees that are going <laughs> to create apples, right? And it's coming Woo. to him, and all of a sudden, you know, pretty soon. Maybe he's giving away $2 million a day, which is 6,666 positions. It's incredible the way this system works. And, you know, I, I remember uh, hearing the story once that if I offered you $1 million, I got $1 million in my hand, or I said, uh, or I'll give you a penny every day, but every day I'll double it, which would you take? How many of you would take a million? No. How many would take the penny in a jar? Any good, in a jar. Good choice. The difference is about $9 million. You get a million one way and you get 10 million the other way. There's no, you know, there's something about exponential growth that is incredible. So when you take and you look at it, that's why I say, I don't care if you got just you in, it doesn't matter. You just keep telling people, sharing the opportunity it don't matter if they if they come on board or not it doesn't matter because all you do is share the opportunity but what i will tell you is consistency always pays off so if you're consistent it will come back because remember they have to have someone to sponsor them to get in this is not a system where you know a tony robbins says hey hey uh ash he says i want to come in he says but i want to be at the top uh, we don't do that, right? We don't do that at On Passage. You come in where you come in, it's a date and a time stamp. Now, what does that mean? 
you come in as a date and time stamp and you could be under Victor. Victor just got in, but if Tony Robbins is not in, guess what? Victor uh, Victor could end up with Tony Robbins on his uh, his downline or on, not downline, but on his, as a team member, he could be getting commission from it. Tony Robbins, we all know Tony Robbins could write an email and he could put a hundred thousand people in his positions underneath him within one day. You know, so there's people out there like that. That's the beauty of this because right now it's only family and friends. It's not even being advertised to Amway, to Melaleuca, to Avon, to uh, all these different uh, companies that have these big teams that can bring in in no time. You know, those are all going to come under us. Man, when you think about that, uh, I tell you what, it'll make you not sleep at night. That's for sure. Sherry, thank you so much. And I cannot wait to hug you either. I'm gonna. It's gonna be very soon. You know, I'm gonna get down there to one of your you guys' show or whatever. I love you guys, man. I love what you do for the company. You're great. Your lives. You, you and Chris Johnson, man. Your your lives and the rest of them that do lives are great. All right. So next up, we got Mr. David Schweitzer from Kansas City, the Kansas City Chief man. Come on down, brother, and talk to us. Hey, here. Okay, great. Hey, I was just doing some thinking here. I think it would be nice someday. You know, we're kind of making history here in um, Pasad, and I would think it'd be nice if we can get a nice big group picture and uh, the people that started on Pasad, and I think that'd be really nice that we all get together and do a big, nice group picture, and maybe we meet somewhere and do it, and that would be nice, wouldn't you think? Uh, it's going to be awesome when we have that first one where we can all get together, you know, it's going to be a uh, Paramount. It's going to be, it's going to be great, man. I can't, I can't wait to meet all the people I've been talking to all around the world, you know, and just uh, like Sherry said, give them a hug, man, because I, I'm a hugger. So if you ever see me, man, you just come up and give me a big hug and I am happy. I'll tell you that right now. So, all right, let's see. Do we have anyone else? Uh, let's just, uh, let's call on someone. How about Mr. Kevin Rutledge? Come on down. You always got something good to say, brother. Oops. Kevin? Kevin. Kevin. Got me with my mouth full. Can I get uh, back with you? Yes, you can. Just, uh, <laughs> just raise your hand when you're ready. How about Mr. How about Miss Judy Miller? Judy, Judy has come on as a, one of our presenters. I'll tell you what she did. I think you did them all. There might be one left that you haven't done. Uh, you I probably didn't done, even know about it. I but, think I've uh, done 16. Right, and there's 17 now. I did one on uh, uh, movies and you, film producers. You snuck one in on me. But it just happened, Judy. So we'll get you in there to get that one done but man what a remarkable from her first one to her last one. she does a great job presenting and she is certified in the julian Milo show presenter series so come on down judy and talk to us oh uh, thank you milo that makes me feel good um i did have a thought uh funny thing in my brain right um the the meetup uh the the fun time in january I was wondering, since um, our, our O founders and our soft launch and global launch is kind of pushing on in the year, I was wondering if Julie and you have thought, possibly talked about pushing it back from January to maybe, you know, maybe like March or April, since our, our global launch is farther along than we anticipated. If if maybe you have talked about or thought about pushing that January Cancun thing farther. I have not thought of it. I still want to stay with what we've got, which is January, February. But I do feel that, you know, I've already told the company, I said, look, we're not going to pay anything down. We're not going to do anything until the global launch. I right. do feel that the day that the global launch happens, there's not a one of you probably that's not going to be able to afford whatever that is. You know what I'm saying? And remember, this is what I like to say. You know, a lot of times you think you got to have money back for a rainy day fund. You don't know more with it on passive because it rains every day in your wallet. You know, every minute it's raining money into your, 
or apples into your wallet, right? And uh, right. and so it's never going to get less. It's always going to be more. So uh, I think that as of right now, I still think we're we'll be okay. Uh, you know, even if it doesn't launch till you know December. You know, even if it was the launch, maybe if it was in January, then we would have to look at it and maybe we would would push it back. You know, see if we could push it back. The only thing is, the best time to go to Mexico is in that that last week of January, first week of February. You start pushing it back a little bit more, you get into the storm season down there. You know, they get hurricanes and stuff like that down there. So it's not as good a time to go. So that's uh, that's what I'm thinking. But that's not saying that, hey, maybe we couldn't have a uh, – we plan on doing uh, these events all over. We'll be having one in Nashville, I know for sure. And I can't right. wait to show everyone my city, man, because – I love my city. I love what's here. And I can't wait for you guys all to see it. I'm sure we'll be doing one in uh, L.A. or whatever, where Julie is. We'll be doing one in probably Vegas. You know, so those uh, will be having events all over so that because uh, we can't have every everyone's not going to be able to go to every event because there's no place big enough for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, okay. you know, unfortunately or fortunately, however you want to look at it, you know, it's, it's just not possible. So, Right. Well, because I, I just thought that it's not going to, uh, you know, come extremely fast that I thought it was kind of, you know, slow to move in. And so I thought maybe we should wait a month or two more. But I, I don't know. I do OK. Know. Now, when you say it's slow to move in, what do you mean? As far as the money coming in? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like it's going to not super. I, you, I don't know how it's going to work. So I thought maybe we needed to maybe do, do like March okay. instead of January. To... My thought is I think we're all going to be very, very surprised. Okay, That's I me. like surprises. I think we're going to be very surprised because remember this, that everyone that's underneath you, when they pay their money, it goes into your wallet immediately. So I think by the second day, you're going to have, you're going to have people that have paid. Now, remember, if you've only got one on your team, but you've been in for a long time, you don't know how many is on your team when it comes global launch because at global yeah. launch, there's all these people that could come underneath your team. You know what I'm saying? And so yes. you have no idea. Are you blowing a kiss to your sister? Yes, I am. That's what I thought. You huh? Oh, Where's there we go. I, I thought it was probably going to Pam, but uh, yeah. All right, well, good. But I do think my, no, I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't say that this is going to happen. But my thing, my thought is, you know, when it happens, it happens. When the global launch happens, the global launch happens. And there's who who in here is not going to pay their money right away? I'm paying mine right away because I want to get paid, right? Me so too. That, that affects the guy above me. He's going to get my, my commission, right? Same way with anyone underneath me. When they pay theirs, guess what? I'm going to get my commission. I do feel that all of us, that there won't be anyone that, uh, that won't be able to afford whatever that down payment is or however, whatever it is, you know. And But here's the thing that, that you don't have to, if you got the money, you got the money, and you don't have to worry about, well, I might need that money for the car payment next month or something. You don't, because guess what? It's going to be there month after month after month. It's just coming into your wallet. Understand what I'm saying? Yes. So, so if on like the, the, the let's say, Let's say the thing launched, and I'm not saying this. I'm just going to give you an example. Let's say that right. it launches on my birthday, December 15th. I would be jumping up and down and saying, yes, yes. Let's say it does on December 15th. Well, December 15th, December 16th, 17th, and 18th, there's going to be a lot of people paying, right? So those right. are going to be your big day. So remember, on the 15th, 16th, 17th of January, at that exact same time that you got paid for the ones in December, you're getting paid in January, plus anyone that's been added. It's commission. It's like, I like to say, man, it's like, it's like being a life insurance salesman, and you're getting the pay, right? You're just getting the pay over and over every month. I'm telling you, you guys, I don't think we realize what a great position we are in. 
All right. All right. I'm excited. Thank you, Milo. Me too. Thank you, Judy. And and now we got her wonderful sister uh, to come into us from O Canada, Miss Pam Turner. Come on down, and talk to us, Pam. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much, Milo, Julie. Um, this Judy made me think of this, and actually, it was your answer, Milo, that made me really think of it. Um, when we were little, Judy's going to laugh in a minute. When we were little, we used to pretend we had this magic wallet. And we would put a $1 bill in it and a, a $5 bill and a 10 and et cetera, right? You know, maybe up to 100. But every time you took a, a, a bill out, it replaced itself. Remember that, Jude? Anyway, that's what all passive is going to do for us. And that's my excitement. And that's all I've got. Thank you. That, Pamela, that's great. That is, or Pam. That's great. That is the, the way it works. You know, it's uh, the more that you give out, the more you get back in. So if you give away uh, $300 to someone, you say, hey, you know what? I'm going to bless you with this buck. Here you go. It's yours. You know, and maybe tell them, say, hey, well, all I want you to do is, is when you get money in it, start blessing someone, you know, bless a person every now and then. Take at least half of whatever you get and put back in. Bless someone else. When you do that, it's going to grow your apple orchard so big that you're not going to believe what happened. Because like you were saying, instead of just putting a, a, you know, you take a one out of your wallet, your magical wallet back then, the thing now you take a one out of your wallet and it replaces it with a hundred dollar bill. You see what I'm saying? So that's the beauty of own passive. And I see my good friend, Mr. Marty, the Garmo is here. Mari, come on down and talk to us. I want to talk to you, man. We'll get going here. What's happening, Marlo? <laughs> We're just talking about the blessings that are coming our way from Own Passive. And we're kind of talking about, you know, giving and how it's going to affect people and the things that we don't even realize that's going to happen, that is going to happen to us. I know I kind of hit you from the backside, but I can get you fired up pretty quick here. <laughs> yeah, I just came on, but I'm looking at Chris. I don't, that don't make me. Oh yeah, <laughs> that don't, don't make me think of something. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I, every, I just I can't even imagine what's going to happen. Really, I uh, I know everybody's going to be surprised, and I know it's uh, bigger and better, obviously, than than I thought it was two and a half years ago. And I thought it was pretty amazing then, but listening and watching what's going on and keep getting some feedback on O Founders, um, even that even that site is going to be state of the art. I mean, it's going to move like you wouldn't believe. I remember last night, there was a webinar last night, and they were asking questions about... Um, some internet stuff will it help people and all that. Well, I always check fast when somebody asks a question, I'm not sure, see what he says, if he answers. And the question was, will there be speech to text in any of the programs? I know that some are, but I wrote it anyway. And he said, most of, most of, most of our, our, most of our products are AI and voice recognition components. So it's going to be out to the whole, everywhere. Many components will be, do this, do that, and it'll do it from your voice, which is mind blowing. I didn't even know. And there'll be voice to text. So you can say, you know, like you want to write somebody something, you can say it. Hey, Chris, blah, 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 blah. Are you going here? Are you going there? Or uh, Cynthia Brown, this is Marty, you know, whatever, and say something to her. And, and send it. It's pretty cool. Now they have some of that now, but I would imagine a lot of that'll be better. And the other question was a lot of people, I don't know why we insist on people putting their camera on, but a lot of the other countries where they don't have that good access for internet uh, because of bandwidth is what it is. And the bottleneck in the whole world is that, that transfer of data. How good is the transfer of data? 
everything's just data for the internet. It's not a picture, it's not, it's data going back and forth. And can you handle it? And can you deliver it? And I asked them, I said, is there gonna be anything that will help people that maybe don't have the best connection, uh, receive better connection? He said, Inter internet connection has a physical product at a later stage. So they're already talking about making something that maybe you can plug into your computer that magnifies the yeah. what you already have. But he answered it right away, and that's what he said. So, and that's a physical product. So something you can buy and get delivered to your house or wherever you're at. Now, does he you know he's already thinking past that because he was talking about how much a satellite costs, the rocket. That's just not something I have at my conversation when I'm eating dinner, you know. Hey, honey, huh? what do you think a rocket cost? You know, but it was like it was like ninety-five million dollars or something. Right. And he's already looking at all that because, by the way, we had a conversation before. People think that there's a chance that we'll get um, saturated, which is already funny. But let's just say that could happen. Remember, half the world doesn't have internet yet. Almost half. Not quite, but almost half, 3 billion people or something don't even have it. Do you think in the next 10 years that someone like Ash or Elon Musk isn't going to change that? You darn right they are. They got people, and you're going to have internet that's so fast that it goes where you want just thinking about it. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like right now we're, we're kind of spoiled because you go click and it's there. I got very fast internet, no doubt about it. But there's some people who live in certain areas, it's not that fast. All that's gonna get better, all that's gonna get easier. And because that's just technology, he's, he's taking very super high technology and making it simple, which is a real big deal. It's a real big deal. He said his grandmother could do it, right? I mean, we're, anybody's gonna be able to do this. I do know in a lot of meetings, they scare people, but not on purpose, but bring up all the technology and, how advanced it is that, and guess what? You don't need to know any of it. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Uh, I, it, does, it doesn't matter. Do you want to? Yeah, maybe you do. Learn it at your convenience. Do you need to know? No. You just need to know that a billion people are gonna buy it and you're gonna get a nickel from every one of them or whatever it is. That's the part that's the beautiful of it. But most people here in El Paso are gonna use nine out of 10 of the products probably. Uh, I, I'm sure a lot of people use O Create. Why? You might want to make a poster, a birthday poster, or something like that. And the other day, Mother, when you were talking to somebody and they were saying, Will I be able to do this on the internet? Will I be able to do that? And, you, and I don't know if I wrote you, but something like you could have country western jambor jamboree, right? And then invite people on. I uh, forget it. I, I'll lose my mind, but. I, I just came on, and I didn't know I was going to be asked right away, but there's so many things that'll be fun, things you can do. I mean, look at every, whatever you can think of. I mean, assets constantly thinking way ahead of where we're even at. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and, and I can't wait to see it. I really can't. Absolutely. When I met with Ash back in November of 2019, my first question, one of my first questions to him was, can I play my piano in Nashville and sing and have a drummer in New York and have a bass player in Washington, you know, and have someone in Florida, you know, and can we just all sing together and it come across? Because you can't do that right now because of latency. You know, whenever two mics turn on, it cancels out the other one because there's not enough bandwidth. And I remember. Yeah, well, yeah, you remember, Milo. Uh, to, to add to that, you know, sometimes if I called you and said, Milo, can you log in right now? And you say no, but yet I can, or somebody can, and somebody else can't, and somebody can, or they see something in the back office and you don't see it yet. Yeah. It's migrate. It's migrated. You've got millions of people as right. it moves across the world. It takes a while. Like Ash told me, hey, get an email written up for last Monday. All right, for one thing, I had somebody else do it because I, I wrote it nobody would go. By the way, we had the email gone. They said, you got to hurry. I said, why? He goes, 
it takes 11, 12 hours for the emails to go to everybody because there's a million people. Right. I, I notice it goes to the new people first, but all that stuff that we don't see and we don't need to know, he's just going to make it the best of the best. It's going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Right. A, lot of, a lot of superstars are going to come out of on passing big time. Oh, it's, it's going to change the world because, like I said, when you can do that and he looks at me and he says, it's not possible now, but he says, I promise you, as soon as it is, you'll be the first to have it. That's the way Ash thinks, you know, and it blew my mind. But uh, the other thing, just real quick, I want to mention, uh, you said about the 40% of the world that doesn't get the internet now. Some people don't realize how big a thing that is. Do you realize 40% of the world doesn't get the internet right now? What does that mean? When they get the internet and someone brings on passive to them, what does that bring? That brings them a banking system. That brings them the internet where they can buy anything they want. These people that have never heard music before now can click on a button and they can buy whatever they want to or they can listen to any music that they want to. How cool is that? Do you think that's going to bring more people? That's going to bring a bunch of people, you know, and a bunch more people is going to uh, come to it. So, you know. So, all right, let's uh, move on. I see we got a hand raised. Miss Julie Wynn, come on down, Julie. Hello, Julie. Julie, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. I jumped off and I don't know why I raised my hand, but um, it's good stuff we're talking about here. Hello, everyone. Hi, Marty. <laughs> it's good stuff we are talking about here. Um, I, 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 I like everyone to think about this really quick. If you look at the, the website on passive.com, right? Baby, can you turn that down, baby? Um, look at the, the website on passive.com. There's going to be a millions founders after they get activated, you know, with the 200 to $300, they're gonna get a replicated, they're gonna get a website that looks just like on passive.com. That's our business, that's our name. And imagine there's a millions of us who has, it's a million websites, it's out there, right? And then that million website, every single day that rotating yeah to new pages, new face, new look. Now, if you take what I just share with you and add on to 4% of the people around the world who has not been, uh, who has not get access to internet. So talking about traffic, is that huge? You know, everything that Ash is saying, everyone's here and, you know, Milo and Marty, everyone here is saying, Take the information and connecting your own dots, connecting your own, putting your own puzzles in. Man, it's mind blowing. It's, you, you, you cannot see this. I mean, I don't think we all realize how big this thing is and, and what we all know already blown our mind, but we haven't seen it. I think we only see five, 10% of what on passive is about. So I don't know. I, I, I got called in and I just have that thought in my mind since last night, talked to somebody and, you know, we talked to a lot of people every day and throwing thoughts and throwing, you know, ideas and stuff like that. It's, it's crazy. We are in such a good place in a good time. Anyway, have any one of you watched um, Red and Jane's uh, story yet? Isn't that fun? Both of them. We're going to have Don and Marty on our show this coming week. We're just waiting for them to give us a, uh, a time, but they're going to be on the Julian Milo show. We're going to have a really good story uh, about them <laughs> with them, tribute to them. It's going to be incredible. I cannot wait. Don's already accepted it. And obviously Don accepted, Marty will accept it. <laughs> no, he, he says no, no. Uh, um, but on, but Marty. um, but we are going. We are interviewing more founders. A lot of people think that they have to wait for us to invite them. No, you don't have to. If you haven't put your story out, um, out there yet, 
let us know. We'll do our best to get you on to schedule and have your story out there. You don't have to wait for us to invite you. Just let us know. And if you have already mentioned it um, and we haven't get back with you, we're getting back now. So send us a message. Let us know that you want to be in uh, the Julie and Milo show. And then Milo is going to send an invitation and the instructions and everything comes out. Bring your story out there because remember, you are the 1% of this global company. Think about that. See the post that um, Marty have built, put together. What if Milo had gone through it today? What if? Later on, we're all going to look back and we're going to look back to the journey that we are going on right now. You're going to see. And you'll be so proud of yourself that you put your story out there so that people know who you are. Come on, the top 1% of global business on passive. So um, yeah, it's, it's time, it's time. Don't let your future, your current situation stop you. It's here, I already tasted it. So that's all my love. That's good stuff, Julie, that's good stuff. And one thing you don't wanna do is wait till uh, it's already launched. And then you look back and you say, what if? What if I would have joined back when I had an opportunity to? You don't want to do that. Uh, this thing is just so big. You want to get in right now. You want to do it. So, uh, hey, hey, Marlo, hey, and, and, and also, also, what? sorry, Marty. Sorry, uh, Marty. One thing, and I'll mute myself. Um, you would have said, What if I own more than one? Position? What if I have more? I don't think I'd ever say that. Uh, what is she saying? <laughs> I'm not sure what she, No, I know what she said. She's saying, but she says, you don't want to say, what if I had a chance to buy more positions you know, didn't do it? I know that's exactly what she, she's trying to say. It's not coming out that way, but that's what that's what our Julie's trying to say. What if you have a chance to buy one other position? Well, guess what? It doubled. You know, what if you bought three? Well, it tripled, you know? And remember, it's not about you because you, one is more than enough for you. Oh, thank God. One is, one is, let me just mute you. One is, uh, one is good enough. You know, you'll never spend your money. But if you have two or you have three, that just means- Yeah, sorry, Marty. People. I'm sorry. I... That's okay. She's back. We got... We know what you meant. Hey, Chris just texted me a, a perfect name for the show with me and my wife. Please don't use it. He's got Dawn and Dumbass. Okay. So <laughs> don't use that one. We won't. We won't. We won't let Chris influence us, Marty. <laughs> oh, leave it to Chris, right? Leave it to Chris. All right. Uh, that was good stuff you said, Julie. Uh, all right, let's uh, go with uh, Mr. James Williams. Come on down, James, and talk to us. Hello, how's everybody doing? We're doing good. How about you? Uh, wonderful. Sorry that um, you don't see my face. You know, I'm not really properly dressed. But I like to say that on passive is the place to be. And um, when I'm um, updating my group, or my team, I, I always refer to them as OPM, which stands for Passive Millionaires, and that's what we are. You know, eventually we're going to become millionaires, and that's why I believe, and and um, that's what I believe right there, as well as a lot of y'all do also. And uh, Milo, I remember you told me months ago that you jumped in September 2018, and if you remember, I jumped in a month before you. Yes. And it's amazing how we've seen the growth of on passive and how it continue to grow and it's going to grow even more after it launches for years and years to come. And it's truly a blessing to be part of this organization because not everybody who has seen the vision, you know, we shared and shared and shared and there's still people who know for a fact are highly intelligent intelligent can buy multiple positions but for some reason don't see the vision and i'm a strong believer as a man of faith in 
it wasn't meant for them to see the vision. Vision. It was part of um, God's divine intervention. We are the chosen people to be a part of a, of on um, passive as the founders. And I'm I'm just enjoying the moment and um, looking forward to you know the the next you know scene that um, Ash got in store for us because it's going to be spectacular. So that's why I want to say so in to win it and uh, still fired up. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Good, good stuff there, James. You realize that uh, I don't know if you're on Ken Russo's team, but if, you, if you're in Ken Russo, I could be underneath you, man. You could be my sponsor. You know, that's the beautiful thing of this. None of us know whose team we're on until that global launch day and it's all spit out there and, and uh, you know, we could all be on, you never know who you're going to get on your team. It's a beautiful thing. All yes, right. it is. I agree. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm about to say, yes, it is. I do agree with you. Never know whose team you are until the business starts. That's when you find out <laughs> who's on your team. But it, it's going to be a spectacular event. You know, um, I'm going to wrap this up because I know other people want to talk. So, you know, this is, as you recall, if you don't recall, this is my first online business ever. And, you know, my mentality, um, as I have going to, you know, the jobs I have encountered over the years is work now, play later. And I have carried this on, that, that, that mentality into this business because when I first started, I was 99% skeptical. But the more... I participated in the webinars, both private and guest, and became a student of my business. You know, I came, became more empowered and shared with hundreds of people. And I just love it because, you know, there was a time where I felt kind of bad that I shared the information with people. And for some reason, they didn't see it. And my thing is, how I was raised, you know, good news, you, you should share it with people. And I'm just the type of person I want to bring everybody to the top with me because I know we're going straight to the top. No, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. But it bothered me for a while because I was, you know, I realized that, okay, they didn't want to come to the top with me. So I had to leave them at the bottom. And once this business starts, come back down and bring them up where I'm at. And uh, it's a blessing to be on passive. That's, that's what I want to say. I appreciate you. Let me talk. Thanks, Milo. Absolutely. You know, and, and it, it's all about, I've said it many times, it's all about consistency. Keep spreading the word. Keep saying, you know, presenting that opportunity, you know, and the people will come back, I'm sure. So next up, we got Mr. Victor. And after that, Mr. Tim Dillon. So, Victor, come on down and talk to us. Uh, you're muted. There you go. Do you see me well? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, thanks again to give me opportunity to spoke to spoke second time. Uh, I want to ask some things. If it is possible to reply uh, reply to me this uh, yeah. question. Uh, the first question: uh, There is a lot of news around the world that. Uh, people very soon will start to use only the digital money. I mean, like Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, something like this. Do the company plan to in implement such kind of uh, digital currency in their system? Uh, also, I want to share my uh, some some small uh, experience. Uh, how do... Victor, yeah. Do that first one first so before we move on all right so this is what i can tell you i've, I've been to cryptocurrency also love it uh you know and i i love it but i remember ash saying probably six weeks ago and this one hit me like a ton of bricks ash said he come on and he says he said i can tell you this he said we have been approved by 212 countries in the world with our financial system. He said, but I will tell you, it is not crypto and it is not fiat. So what is it? 
I don't know what it is, but there is something planned. It's not crypto. He said that uh, he said that out. He said it wasn't crypto and it's not fiat. So what is it? It's something that he's come up with that we won't know until the launch. But know that it will be something. And remember, we have a wallet, which is like a world bank. So that old wallet will take anything. It will take crypto. It will take, uh, you know, money from around the world. It'll take Ukraine's money and we can change it into U.S. dollars. Or you can take U.S. dollars and change it into Ukraine. Okay. Yeah, so understood. Okay. Does that answer that question? Yeah, that's this a good answer for my question. Okay. Uh, another question is, the, there is a lot of people doesn't have any ability to have conversation with internet. So um, our uh, company based on the internet products, how these people will get these products if they have no chance to connect to the internet? All right. One of the things that, as you heard Marty talk about, you know, on passive, uh, Ash has already said, how, how much does it cost to get a satellite into space? 95 million. So do we think he will do it? Yeah. I mean, I, I think that's going to happen, that everybody will have access to the internet. Do you agree with me, Marty? Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, they're going to work on reaching more people, and the people that do have internet, uh, obviously satellites in the right spot will make it better. I know that in Papua New Guinea, they, their internet connection is horrible. And what they did is they made a location where people could come in, sign up, and there's a laptop or a couple of laptops and they run it from that little, um, I don't know what you'd want to call it, some kind of internet cafe or whatever. And they don't have any way to get, do it on their own, but they can go there and log in. They can take the money out. They can. It's really a good idea. They did that on their own. So until it's more widespread and they do enhance the uh, internet, some people are going to struggle. There's no doubt about it. But the plan is, to get it to more people and the people that do have it make it stronger. So, yeah, there, definitely there's going to be people who have, a, have problems. Not the least, there's only so much they can do. But the, the thought of that was get more people, put satellites in, and actually enhance what they already have. So that's, that's what he wants to do. Uh, do you believe one satellite will be enough to share the internet to uh, a lot of people? I don't think so. It's uh, very, no, very no. less. No, chance. I think I think maybe four or five hundred would, though. Mm -hmm. Even Elon Musk is sending in a satellite. Yeah, the, the, the it, Elon it, Musk, it, sorry to interrupt you, the Elon Musk have a very, very trendable pl plan. Uh, oh, to yeah. put in the stratosphere some 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 uh, I don't know some technical stuff to yeah. spread internet between the uh, world, yeah. but I, I don't think so. It will happen because it will be big mess uh, for the flights. I mean uh, NASA etc. Et flights. Well, I don't think so it'll be okay because we're not flying that high anyway. <laughs> I hope not. No, but I mean they'll be okay. There's a lot of room up there. A lot of them, they get rid of them, but. Yeah, they're gonna. There's a few people, especially the brains in the world, that are working on making things more convenient for the whole world instead of just the just us. So it's coming. It's the next thing that's coming is reaching out to more and more people. So. They already arranged uh, some big data center for transferring all uh, data for the participants of uh, on passive. Uh, Ash told me, and this isn't hearsay, if, he, if you have a name and you have an email, he has access to us. So okay. if, that, if that answers your question, that's pretty, that's a big deal, whatever he, but that's what he said. You're just sitting in the middle. There's an email and there's a name, we can find you. Okay, clear. Uh, some general points I want to highlight. Uh, once I start to read about the products, uh, there is the very, very good products. And if these products will be implemented exactly on that way, uh, how did the company declare? I believe it will be a revolution, a world revolution in uh, internet uh, industry. 
because all products declared very, very good. There is a lot of good function inside, which we are not have, uh, at least never. So uh, that's, that was my point uh, to, to reach this company and to become founder. Because I believe if there is going on this way, we, we are rising extremely high. Uh, probably you you don't uh, understand me clear because of my pronunciation. If... No 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 no, I understand you a hundred percent. When you look okay. at the, the Zoom that we're on right now, Victor, is about eight thousand six hundred dollars a month, and it's limited. Now yeah. the pack the package is for twenty thousand, but at fifteen thousand, if people are chatting, they're getting kicked off. It doesn't even work. You can put a package on anything if it doesn't work, though. But most people don't go that high because it's so expensive. Picture, picture a Zoom product where it's unlimited and it's one out of 50 and you're only paying 300 a month, maybe. Talk about value. You think there's going to be a problem getting people to get it? I mean, it's going to... The value of Unpassive, there's no competition in the world against Unpassive. We have zero competition. Zero, and I'll prove it to anybody that talks. There'll be zero competition. Why? Usually, if you look at competition between something, they make a line. This does this, this does that. This does this, this does that. But when you find out that this does everything and the cost is one tenth, hold on a one tenth mm -hmm. of what it is out in the world, plus you get paid for it, there's no competition. Zero. Zero. The value, is, the value is mind-blowing what he's giving for the money. It's mind-blowing. You don't have to go to somebody and say any kind of advertising. They're going to see it. It's going to, it, it is going to blow up the internet. I'm, I believe that all, it is going to blow up everyone. Everyone's going to have to have one of the products, or they'll want one of the products. It's just, it's, we got something that everybody needs. Everybody needs a very good one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. When we, uh, so, so, sorry. One last question: When we can get these products to test? Uh, the products uh, to test uh, will be coming out with the soft launch. Actually, when the soft launch it happens, it's not called soft launch. No, I don't. I don't know if there's actually a name for it. But the founders will be able to start testing the this stuff but uh during the once a global launch happens it's all there the products will be there for you okay it's all right. for your replies. we're gonna call premier launch i believe that's what else wants to call is that premier launch is the soft launch okay great so it, that's just basically a launch for the founders thank you victor and welcome to own passive all right thank mr. You, mr tim dillon come on down brother i cut you off the other night didn't hey, Milo, it's your you, had every, you had every right to cut me off. <laughs> uh, but I'll tell you what, I really enjoyed Lynn and Ron's webinar last night. It was very informative, and I can see that being a little bit of a prelude to what's coming down the road with our webinars as we progress. I thought it was awesome, Lynn. It was absolutely awesome. Um, Uncle Bob and Uncle Oliver did a great job and helped you out a lot. Really proud, really proud. But hey, people, we are creating history. We are making history. With every day that goes by, Lines of history are being changed. Oh my goodness. When this, when this takes off, you better be buckled up. You know, I, I got it onto it with last time with, when I was on about the restoration of a classic car. 
it takes a long time. I took my car in one year and he said, oh, we'll have it done in a year. Five years later, it was done. It was supposed to be done for the wedding. It wasn't done. Had to drive something else. But I relate this launch to the restoration of a car because you never know. There's always something a little bit more than what you thought there was at the beginning. It takes a little bit more time. So be patient with Ash. He is building something that is going to be absolutely incredible. And we get, we get to ride along. Buckle up. When he pops the clutch, we're going to be in the back seat. And it's going to be a fun, fun ride. The man has it together. I've never known anyone even close to where he thinks. And, you know, I thought I was pretty smart, but oh my God, he blows me right out of the water. At one time I was pretty sharp, but my motorcycle accident took a little bit of my brain away. And I have to really think and be very aware of what I'm saying because sometimes I get off. And my load, you can cut me off anytime you want because I, I can go, go, go. Um, but you guys, all you men, all you women, we are in the best place we could ever be. I've been in business all my life and I have never ever seen anything close. This is going to create a global change of society, global history, Oh, you know what? The other day I was watching on TV. I don't know. Maybe you guys watched it too. Curse of Oak Island. Oh, my God. You talk about something that might change the world. That treasure search could possibly change North American history, along with many others. God bless those guys. Work hard, keep at it, and you find what you want. But it's almost like riding along on the unpassive train. It keeps building and building and building, and you keep riding and riding and riding. Come on, come on. Where's the end? It's coming. All right, Tim, it is. That's for sure. And you know what? We are making history. I love that part. And every one of you that's here, do you realize you are making history? And when people go back and people, when we have billions of people in on Passive and they go back and they say, who was this or who was that? And they go back and they look at, you know, the Julian Milo show has got a lot of people's names up there. And I encourage every one of you, if you haven't told your story on uh, the Julian Milo show, it's time to do it because uh, we're running out of time. And it is history that's going to be uh, coming up. And, and Tim Dillon, he's got his story on there. Listen to his you got story. It. You can, hey, you can Milo. About his Milo. Movie. Yes. You know what? What? It's coming it at warp speed. That Marty is. likes to call me Captain Kirk. Well, warp speed, Scotty. That's right. It's coming faster than you think. 
and uh, we are part of history. So, all right, do we have anyone else there? Uh, how about uh, Mr. Kevin? Are you ready yet? All right, how about Bruce Gerstein? Bruce, come on down, talk to us. You always got good words. Hi, my love. I came in late. I've been running around doing my stuff like a chicken with its head off. What is the topic of today? We're just talking about how on passive is blessing people and how we're going to be able to bless people. And it's coming and it's history. And we're just whatever good word you got to say. You always like got something good to say. Thank you so much, my love. I appreciate you very much. And, my, and Julie. You know, the thing about on passive, one thing I don't do is project because I project. One of the things I know is that expect, great expectations lead to greater disappointments. So if I stay in the now, I think about what is happening now rather than what's going to happen later. Because happening later is like being in the bar talking about all the things I'm going to do. I like to know what is happening now with on passive. And now we're on passive is a time of exhilaration, anticipation, and overall love for everybody who's here and respect and concern. This is a huge community that, that God has created through, through his vehicle of Ash Monfara and on Passive, which is the final vehicle. So this is a way that we get to have an outpouring of love. And we know that we know by having an outpouring of love, we'll have many blessings. No matter how they may come, God will tell us all in our hearts what we're supposed to do with the, with all the green apples that are coming our way. So I don't want to believe her any points. I know my voice has been in my throat today. It's very hard to get in the diaphragm of breathing. You know, that's why my love. If you're a singer, you got to be used to that or you'll lose your voice. Oh, yeah. so my, anyway, I know that my voice, my heart, my being is on passive. And so I'm grateful to be here. If I uh, if something else comes up, I'll let you know later. Uh -huh. to more people. Thank you. All right. Mind. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. Okay, we are we are uh working our way right down. We're down to about the last 15, 20 minutes to go. Uh, so we're looking for people that would like to say something. Otherwise, of course, I can always fill in. But uh, how about you, Mr. Alan G? I see you up there. Hi, everybody. Happy all well. Uh, I came on late because we had the uh, load chicken cave down. I sit in the dark for about two hours tonight. So. Uh, came on a little bit late, but as I say, it's been a very interesting talk, listening to everybody with, with their plans and what they're hoping to do with the apples when they arrive. Uh, I've got four positions at the moment, uh, which I think I'm, I'm, I may still gift, gift to away, and I think two's enough for me, one for each of my grandchildren. Um, and uh, we'll see what we're going to do with the other two. Uh, as far as the my things are going, what I'm going to do with my apples, I'm going to look after the uh, some of the disabled children, retired children, that type of thing. I know there are two homes in Cape Town where I am that deal with those, and there are, I think there are a couple more, but I'm, we, have, we have two or three of them. Also, the deaf community and the blind community, I'm also going to uh, possibly give a spot to, um, a reseller spot. This is, I'm going to give my grief uh, reset spots to all these organizations and let them have money f to do what they need to do. I think that's what my plan is. Awesome. Awesome. All right. How about Miss Lynn Nakamoto? Come on down, Lynn. Talk to us. Hi, everybody. Hey. Um, a lot along the lines of what Alan said, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. And I have so many ideas that it's like, overwhelming so i thought i would just you know keep my ideas in mind but then be open because i want to see what people do and maybe as people do things i might say hey i want to join that person you know with, with that group or that person or i might say come and 
collaborate with me. So I want to not make my goals too specific so that I can be flexible and see what develops, you know, when the apples come flowing for everybody. So that's, that's what I would say to keep very open-minded about it and just see what happens and go with the flow. What do you think of that? I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, and I think that uh, there will be, when, when the apples start flowing, we're going to find things that we will want to join up with people. You know, there's good people out there already doing it. So why invent something all over again when you can just join someone? They have all the resources. They know where to go and, and do whatever, you know, to help people. Why not join them, you know, join them? And you can always, like I said, you can always put a spot underneath them or, or buy someone a spot underneath whatever they're doing, which will help them. Remember, if you just give money, it doesn't help as much as if you give a spot position. I like to drive, you know, try to tell you that that's important, you know, to me to, to put that out there that, you know, if you give someone money, that's like uh, the old saying, you know, you can give a guy a fish and he'll have enough to eat today, but you can buy him a fishing pole and show him where the water is and he can fish every day for the rest of his life. That's what a position will do for you. It will generate that money for you. And it's important to do that. I, I tell you one other thing. I got I to gotta bring this point up because I've been thinking about this. And the, when I first started, I was like, you know what? When I get my apples start to come in, I want to pay everything off. I want to pay my house off. I want to pay my car, everything off, although I don't any, know anything on my car. But, uh, you know, I'm thinking I like that. You know, I just want to get everything. I want to be debt free. Okay. Then I got to thinking, now, Milo. Is that smart? And I realized it's not. It's not smart at all to do. Because do you realize that if you pay your house off, you're paying 5% interest on that money. Yet you can put it in on passive and probably make 8,000%. You know? So why not buy a spot and let that spot, that position, pay off the house? Because you can always... You know, once it grows to that amount of the money, it will pay that spot off. And you can do that with anything. I don't care what it is. You're even uh, car insurance. You know, you can do that with your car insurance. You know, uh, there's so many things that you can do. And, you know, the, the wealthy have been doing that for years. It's called OEM, other people's money. You know, uh, they use other people's money. They don't use their own. They fund with other people's money. And, you know, when you can do that, imagine the incredible amount of leverage that gives you. You know, so in other words, if you bought apartment houses, would you want to pay for the apartment houses right away? No. Go get a loan on it. Get a loan. Max that loan out. Use that money. You could build another one. And, and you know what I'm saying? Keep financing. And then when you finance it, guess what? You're using other people's money and you are building the business. Does that make sense to anyone? That does make sense, actually. I was thinking that, you know, people like you, brilliant souls like you, we need to have like maybe within O Network, uh, we could have a forum or however it's going to be, whatever format we have with discussion group topics. So, for example, yours might be how to use other people's money, right? So that right. we can all benefit because not all of us have that background, so it may not occur to us that this can be done. But I'm sure if we have little forums, discussions, that would help all of us. What do you think of that? Absolutely. I, I love it, a mastermind or something like that. And I do think that, you know, sometimes, uh, even myself, you know, sometimes I don't think of exactly the, how's it going to work out, the end result, what's it going to be like. This is what I can say, you know, is with own passive. Once we know, you know, which the way it's, it works is once you get it one month, you get it the next month, you get it the next month, and it always grows. It never goes backwards. So realize that if you want to buy a car, you buy a spot, a position. Once that spot gets to whatever point you need to pay for that car. In other words, if say if you wanted to buy, I don't know, whatever kind of car you want to buy, and it was $1,200 a month. Okay, and you could only afford $500 a month. Well, when that position gets to $700 per month, you could buy that car because 
you're going to be able to afford it, right? Because remember, it's never going to go down. It's always going to be 700 or bigger. And I guarantee it's always going to be bigger, you know, because people's going to keep coming in. And, you know, when we think, I, I think uh, me and Marty had, had talked about, uh, uh, you know, being a, uh, uh, lost my train of thought. Me and Marty, uh, what were we talking about? You know, I can't remember now. Oh, about, you know, running out of people. That it's going to be saturated, you know? And at first, that, that was my thought. You know, now, look, if, if we got this many people coming in a month, you know, there's only 7.8 billion people in the world, right? So that is the maximum. But that's not true at all. And here's why that's not even close to being true. For the simple fact that, remember, you can own multiple positions. Do you believe that if you're making money and you're making a lot of apples, do you think that you might want to start another business or you might want to get another spot or, you know, whatever? So all of a sudden now people's got 10 spots. Well, now you just went to 70.8 billion people, you know, or spots that you could have. So I don't think, you, I don't think we will ever, ever, ever saturate it. For that simple fact because people always going to be a buying more so uh let me see i seen some question in the chat let me go back and see oh uh, i don't know what it was uh little chris go bucks hey, hey i agree milo that's what's already upset in place for all my position smart business always use other people's money Oh, awesome. Chris Dodd said, all right. And I share the same concept for my team. That's great. My list uh, for those no sayers is ready for the reseller flood to come in. That is so true, Tanya. You know, uh, we, as long as you're, as long as you're consistent, and I keep saying this, as long as you're consistent and you're telling people about it, I don't care how many people you just present the opportunity or tell them about it. And they say, you're, you're crazy, you know, that'll never happen, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? When it happens, when you're driving around in that brand new car or you move to that new zip code, they're going to say, hey, what happened? Where did you, how are you getting your money? Oh, no, it's nothing. You know, remember that own passive thing I told you about? The, the one that you didn't believe in? Yeah, yeah. So that's where it comes from, you know. And they're going to want to sign up at that point, right? And guess who's going to get to sign them up? You are. So that's why it's so important to be consistent, you know. And you can take the, you can you can take a person that's got the most athletic ability in the world, and he doesn't practice and he's not consistent. And you take a guy that gets out there and he just works his butt off every day. He's going to be a much better player. He's going to be a team player. He's going to be able to do it consistently because that's what he's trained to do. So. Uh, Anyway, all right. Uh, do we have anyone else? We got about uh, 10 minutes maybe left. Uh, Chris, Chris Johnson, you got anything to say? Come on down. Oh, I see Gemma. Uh, go ahead, Gemma. I see you raising your hand. Hi, everyone. It's so lovely to be here. I just wanted to thank all the Leadership Council for giving me this opportunity. Also, my sister, Lystra, is the one who invited me to this. Hi, Lystra. And just want to say hi to Milo and to Julie. I look at your show all the time. I've never really introduced myself. And I'm in it to win it. All right. Thank you. You need to come on our show, Gima. Uh, you need to come do your story. And listen, I don't think you have that either, have you? I keep saying I will, but so far I haven't. One day. No, I guess. Don't let it slip by. Okay. Oh, and I forgot. I forgot to thank Ash too. I, I must thank Ash for giving me this opportunity. I am so grateful. All right. Well, thank you for coming on and talking. And I have thank you all. Her, I have been asking her to do that for the longest while, so she's now in, engaged, which right. I'm so thrilled about. Welcome, Gemma. Is it Gemma? Thank you. It's it's Gemma. Gemma. Emma. All right. Yes. All right. Chris Johnson, come on down, my co-host. Say something to us, brother. 
First of all, I did not know that was your sister, Lystra. You guys got like identical voices. If I closed my eyes, I didn't know. I wouldn't know. I would have thought it was you talking. Uh, that's really nice to see the family. Growing. Really? I didn't. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, I do. I do. And remember, that's all that counts is I think so. <laughs> exactly. Mr. Chris, Captain Chris, sorry. Chris. No, you both got beautiful voices, but very similar. Um, you know, I'm listening to this whole show, uh, listening to a lot of shows all week. People's dreams, um, people's efforts, what they want to do. And I think that's what it's really about. Do not never, ever forget to dream about things that you want. That really is important. Um, everyone is different how they want to do their dreams. Some people want big houses. Some people are just happy with just a small little apartment. I mean, it, it, everyone's different. But I always going to put that twist in there for myself only. I'm speaking for myself as the things that we're going to be able to help, help fix. That's, that's really my, what I, all I see in it right now is what I can do. I actually stopped thinking about me uh, a long time ago. I, I'm pretty good in my life where I worked many, many years, retired, but I just want to change people's lives so they don't have to do what I had to do. All right. Uh, and, and I'm really looking forward to that part of it. Uh, I'm looking forward you know, to a year after uh, we launch, I think it's going to be sooner. Watching people that I know just started where I used to work a few years ago, walk out of there and say, I'm done. I got impassive. To me, uh, there's no there's no money I could ever receive to actually watch. I mean, that is going to be the greatest thing. Also, uh, just people, every one of us know that are sick. Um, you know, they're, they're, we have people in this family that are fighting cancer the virus, other illnesses, and a lot of them might not have great health care, but you're gonna. And it's sad that the world has to be so expensive when, where it's needed the most. Um, I truly believe Impassive is going to change that. I think we're going to all have funds enough to not only help ourselves with stuff like that, but a lot of extra people. And that's really what I'm looking for. Of course, I'm very excited about what it's gonna do for myself, my family, and and forever. And I'm really excited about that, but I always come back to what how I really feel. Uh, the other day I just went to the store and I seen a guy probably in his 60s carrying a garbage bag, uh, really bad shoes. And I'm thinking, my God, there's just why do people gotta live like that? Why why do we walk by him? So I'm looking forward to start right off uh, just walk in my own neighborhood. And I don't live in a I live in an average neighborhood. The sad thing is there's people that are living still under bridges, side of people's houses. The cold is coming, which is the worst part for them. And I tell people, just for one night, maybe, like I guess I got a sunroom in my backyard, which is not heated. If you have that, or just go outside for two hours one time, put a summer jacket on, put maybe a old pair of jeans or something on with a ragged, don't even wear shoes, just wear socks. Stand outside when it's below zero, just for an hour. And imagine the people that actually do this every single day, day in and day out. Um, and no one should have to live like that. But I say, put yourself to the test. If you want to change your mindset, put yourself in their shoes. Let's not judge them. Ah, they probably did drugs and that's why they're there. Hey, people make mistakes. Everyone deserves a chance. Um, those people are out there waiting for us. They just don't know it yet, but I promise you this, that we're going to come for them and we're going to help them. So that's all I got, Milo. I know Kevin is done eating, man. He's been eating for two hours. So <laughs> I love it. I love it, Chris. That was, that was awesome stuff. I love, I love your heart. Love your passion. And none other than Mr. Kevin Rutledge, come on down and talk to us, brother. We've been waiting for you for a long time. Oh, okay. You guys are, you guys are funny. You guys cracked me up. Um, well, thank you, sir. I came on here. I wanted to thank you and Julie for everything you guys do. Um, that's what my big reason for raising my hand is. And, uh, man, I tell you, I, I hear, I hear some good stuff when I, when I come to, I can't, you know, it's, it's really hard to put into words what this company is all about. I mean, yeah, excellent opportunity. I mean, I got online to make money, you know, initially, and then I learned you know, quickly in there that the way to, to really make money to really, you know, um, to, uh, 
get what all online marketing or you know work from home has to offer is you help people okay and the, and the more people you help the better the, the more success you'll see okay and that's you know i didn't i didn't you know that's not where i came from i came from a i want to make a bunch of money and i want to get away from people kind of was a where the attitude i had when i first started and um but you know we we get in here and and, and it changes. Our attitude changes. Uh, I just heard my buddy Chris there talking about, you know, it's not about the money. The money's here. The money's done. You know, it's a done deal. Um, it's, it's. Uh, I mean, yeah, none of it works without the money. It's a tool. You know, it gives us uh, options. Um, but the, the really, the thing that's happened here that I see that I'm most proud to be a part of is the, uh, the attitude that we have about making that money and then what we're planning on doing with it. Because, you know, I could go out and, you know, we could make a bunch of money and, and have a bunch of fun with it. And that would be, that'd be one thing, you know, that'd be great. That'd be a pretty good way to end my life. You know what I mean? To live out the rest of my life. But, but when we can, and we're talking about what we're planning on doing for other and changing the world. And I like it, you know, look at the way, like, you know, Ash, he could have been the richest man in the world. You know what I mean? He could have just took care of the Mafara family. It would have been fine, you know. But he gets to change the world. Okay. You know, he gets to be the, um, what is the, the, the very beginning of, I can't think of what, the catalyst. Okay. He's the piece of pebble that gets dropped in this pond that ripples as far as we want it to go. Okay. I, I love Michael Williams to death. I respect that man, you know, but we differ on one thing. He doesn't think we can change. We didn't think we can end poverty or, or he doesn't think we can end it. And I do. I think we can end it, end it. You know, we give at the Thanksgiving season and Christmas season, we give because we know people are in need. Why do we stop? The need didn't stop. So we give until the need goes away. I think we can end it. I really do. I mean, we have the best vehicle to produce wealth that I've ever seen. Enormous wealth. But it's bigger than that because we have the attitude, we have the people, we have the leadership, we have it all. It's all right here. It's like the stars aligned. And if you don't feel blessed, I'll pray for you because I'm my cup runneth over. I tell people that I'm blessed beyond measure because I don't know how to measure it. It's a, uh, a wonderful thing to be a part of I, I i couldn't be you know i'm just humbled i'm just humbled and uh honored extremely honored and uh i, I can't you know i, I could talk about this all day um this company is off the charts man off the charts so i love y'all i'm always uh you know glad for my leadership and um real thankful for what you guys have all done you know and getting that word out and uh, yeah we'll see you at the top all right thank you kevin kevin i'm with you i think we can i think we can end it too uh, you know it's just a matter of us all getting together well listen we got time for one more and uh so christina dodge come on down and talk to us hi everyone thank you milo for the julie and milo show um, I just kind of wanted to say thank you to everyone for my birthday wishes last night. That was totally awesome. Um, the webinar was great, but I want to tell you a little story really quickly. I had went to the store the other day and I was in line. There was like maybe six people in line and this elderly gentleman was up there throwing all of his change up on the counter. And I wondered, I got curious why the line was moving so slow. And uh, I looked around the other people and I saw him putting his change up there. And I asked him, I said, uh, how short are you? 
and he said 25 cents. It, of course I gave him the 25 cents. I would have gave him more if that's what he needed. But I just wondered what is wrong with people that you could hold a line up at the grocery store for 25 cents. So I'm very humbled and very blessed that in my future, that's not going to happen anymore. So I just wanted to share that with everybody and wish everybody a great day. That Thank is you. beautiful. That's beautiful, Christina. I love your heart. Uh, I think we're going to change a whole lot of people's uh, lives and stuff. So thank you all so much for coming to the Julie and Milo show today. And guess who's back? We got Julie back. So hi, Tiana. So come on, Julie, and uh, take us out of here. It's time to go home. All right. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Milo, for holding the fork down on on the, the Tennessee, for, um, on, on that side of town. Thank you, Chris, for jumping on, being co-host, and everyone here jumping in to help. I appreciate every one of you to come in every single Saturday and just sit here and chat with us and, uh, and, and keep the show going. You know, we are in such a good time of our life, and uh, don't let anything stop you. Continue sharing, continue spreading the word, and just remember... You have the opportunity, the best opportunity in life. Maximize uh, your opportunity. So thank you so much. Thank you all the word of wisdom, the passion that we are sharing here. I do hope that we all have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy. It's time. It's coming. Thank you so much for coming on. Good night from Orange County, California. Good night Bye from Canada. Canada. Good night. Good night Don't forget about the Papa Guinea tonight. Papa That's Guinea right. Tonight. Papa yeah. New Guinea tonight. Yeah. Let's go yeah. rock yeah. that country. It was a time to rock. I think it's 11 p.m., right? 11 p.m. Eastern hey, Bruce. Bruce. Yes. See you guys right. there. Yeah. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mary. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone. 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 Good night,
join to make a paradise on earth with us together and take care of each other forever and forever close your eyes spread your wings make your dreams come true share the joy Say